Hello. Now time to take a look at a question. You may pause the video and try to figure out what are the instructions given in this. Okay. Now I will show you the answer after you have understood the question. Then you will uh, come to the answer. Okay. The question uh, gives a hint towards uh, here how the work is being shown. Now look into the work. The work says there is a constructor inside which the variable num, which is the member data, is getting initialized to zero because the constructor wanted it to become null. Then there is accept, which is taking input. Then there is summation. Now this summation was uh, supposed to zip, uh, send the return back. The return is coming back after the sum has been found. Where is the return going? See, display was instructed to activate summation, store the result and print the result. So the method display is calling summation. Whatever is coming back from summation, it is storing in R sum and then it is printing it. So what is main doing? Main is creating an object because it was asked to create an object in main and then call accept and call display against that object. Okay. So now when I will compile this and when I will run this, I hope you will be able to figure out which part is doing what. See, the object creation is activated, the statement from the constructor. But this one we are not going to use. We are going to use the main and inside main one more object is getting created that I told object inside object. Now here if I enter 125, oh, uh, I enter 125, see what happens? Two output is coming. One is the number itself and the other is summation of all the numbers from 1 to 125. Okay.